All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles of the great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing this truth <clears throat> all over the earth. And uh, I want to just touch on this. Uh, the title of the lesson is going to be uh, Be Spiritual. And I just want it's going to be quick. You got uh, like four, four or five scriptures I want to pull out. And uh, what I want to just want to touch on real quick, briefly, is uh, everybody may not look like an Israelite, but but they are Israelites. And what I'm going to go into is, as you see right here, I have pulled up on the screen. This is Blake Griffin's son. <clears throat> now Blake Griffin's dad, so called so called uh, Haitian man, and that therefore that would make Blake Griffin a uh, so called Haitian. And you are what your fathers are. And that's in the scriptures. I'm going to get that <clears throat> real quick. Just touch on that. Because there's many examples in the scriptures of uh, kids coming out of uh, other women. But the father being um, an Israelite. And I want to get this just real quick. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled. All the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names for 20 years old and upward by their poles. And you're what you what your father is. That's what you are, man. So there's how society says there are you mixed or oh, people be like, I'm half Puerto Rican, half Hispanic, Dominican, I'll have black. And you know, people be saying all types of stuff that they mix with. No, that's nothing but confusion. You are what your father is simply. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what your mother is. It is about your father. So you can have a so-called uh, black man and have an Edomite, uh, Edomite woman and that children that child would be an Israelite. Doesn't matter about your outward appearance, man. It doesn't matter about your skin tone. We don't, nobody goes about, we don't preach the skin, the skin tone thing, man. Because you really don't know who um, who somebody is until you, until you really question them. <clears throat> and then you, a lot of people don't know some, some, most of these niggas out here, man, that the shiny black with the afros and the woolly hair might have a, or they might look like a nigga, but it might have a white grandfather on their dad's side, or their dad might be white, and they might have a, a so-called black, black mama as a mother, or whatever the case may be, man. They're just like some of these Edomites that you, that you perceive as Edomites, might not even uh, Edomites. And now, and I have this example. I have two people I want to show you. I have Blake Griffin's son. I think that's his wife that's right there on the, on the right of this picture. As you see right here, look at his son. Does he look like your, <laughs> your average? Does he look like your, uh, uh, does he look like you? What, is he? No. He's not. Even though he has that blonde hair. <clears throat> And the, and the the lighter skin tone that does not mean that he does not qualify as being Israelite. <clears throat> and this this his child right here is an Israelite because Blake Griffin is Israelite because his dad. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, because Blake Griffin's dad is is. It's very dark. See? Look at this. That's his pops right there. And I, I'm assuming that's his mother. <clears throat> and you got to understand us being mingled, us mingling with these nations. We're not going to look like shiny, shiny brown skin, woolly hair. But you're going to have blonde hair Israelites like we just seen from his son. We're going to have blue eye Israelites. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what your outward appearance is, man. It goes by the sea. So that sets preaching skin tone, man, is off, man. Just because you don't look like a shiny black Negro does not mean you're not an uh, Israelite, man. Now look. It's his mom. He came out looking like that. Now, the thing is, go forward. Pull up his son again real quick. <clears throat> think about this. Now think about it. I'm gonna get the scripture too. Get the scriptures while I'm uh, pulling.
pulling out these points. And I'm not putting them, pulling them up on screen. I'm just reading from my, uh, my Bible. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou father nor Shlaki, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. So us being scattered among all amongst all nations, obviously over time, as, as time passed, we're going to mingle with the, with those nations, the men <clears throat> and the women. It's going to mingle with with the other people of the nations. Now, if the women has mingled with other nations. And they bring forth the kid. That kid would not be in his life because it's bringing forth the seed of the other nation. But we're talking about the the men for the men's sake right now. Us mingling with other nations and we bring forth sons from that nation down the line. But if they continue to mingle with other nations, start to look like um they're um that nation you know they're not going to be but the sea line goes back if it's something outward appearance and another dude that i want to pull up that i just found out is uh right here <clears throat> you guys might not uh you guys might know who this is this is logic it's a rapper and uh he looks what, what does he look like from the first from the first instance that you see him what, what would you assume look at that you assume this guy's an edomite just by looking straight at him you assume he's an edomite this guy right here. But he's an Israelite. Because his dad is a so-called black man. And his um his mom is, is a so-called white woman. Edomite. And she might not be an e actual Edomite. <clears throat> but she uh that's what they classify her as, as a white woman. So um so I'm gonna get this scripture right here. Romans 8. In verse 5. I'm going to start at 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is, is enmity against the Most High. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So they, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. But I want to jump down to this point right here. You can't be, you can't, you can't be carnally minded in this truth, man. Always trying to please the flesh. Oh, this Edomite, this way you look, brother. It doesn't matter, brother. It, it, it doesn't matter if he doesn't. He doesn't got the shiny black brown skin. He's not an Israelite, brother. And those, and the people that be saying that is normally the all black Israelites. Normally, people that say that stuff is 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 already off in your doctrine, going off. All, all the 12 tribes black, brother, Negro. And some of the Negroes that you think are Negroes, not even Negroes. The Edomites, man. Chocolate covered Edomites. So let's get this. Uh, Romans 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. <clears throat> the spirit bears witness, man. With our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So if you was out on the streets, let's say spirit, man. So you can't just say, Oh, you're eating my brother. Because we know that Esau Esau can't understand the scriptures. It's spiritual, man. You gotta be spiritual in this walk. You gotta be spiritual in this truth. It doesn't matter about your outward appearance. But like the scripture says, it says, uh, judge righteous judgment. <clears throat> and you 
judging that based off just how somebody looks on the outside is not a righteous judgment, man. It's being carnal. And I want to get one last scripture, and this going to close it out. Uh, Where is it at? All right, Jeremiah 12, verse 9. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye as... Come ye, assemble all beasts of the field, come to devour. It says, my inheritance is to me as a speckled bird. And speckled <clears throat> is color. Like it's like it means colorful. Color. And our people is gonna come in any in all different colors. So it doesn't it doesn't matter about your skin tone, man. It it does not it does not matter at all. That has that plays no part. It's in some instant in some instances instances skin color will give you only thing skin color really does just by looking at outward appearance is an indicator that that's really that's really all it serves you're not really just going to truly know until they spend till like you preaching the word and, it's, and their spirit comes out of them or they or it's it's contrary like if you see an edomite you preaching and you talking about uh, you saw them the slavery signs or whatever the case may be, and they start bucking up against that old oh, oh, that stuff and start mocking. You know, okay, you're an Edomite. You know, it's beat up the block going about the day. You know, you're an Edomite. <clears throat> so you just not gonna know, man. You just can't just just look at somebody and just tell because their sea line can go back to anybody of the of the uh, twelve tribes. So with that, I'm just gonna close out. It was meant to be quick. It wasn't gonna be that long. Do not judge, man, based on the skin tone because. It doesn't matter what you look like. You can you can uh, be an Israelite still. Like, he looks just like an Edomite. I, I, will, I will admit to that. He got colored eyes. Like, uh, what are these? Like, hazel or green or whatever the case may be. And he looks just like Edomite. But his father is a so-called black man. So, with that, I'm going to close out. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rekakadosh. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing his truth all over, earth, all over the earth. Stay strong, Israel. We're almost out of here. And, uh, I'll catch you guys in another lesson. Shalom.